I was just 17 years old when I decided to apply for the position of an assistant to Mr. Jefferson. The idea of leaving my mother and two older sisters excited me, as it meant a chance to step out of their well-meaning but suffocating attempts to dress me in feminine clothes due to my slender frame, delicate demeanor, and long blonde hair. Don't get me wrong, I loved my family, but I longed for a chance to express myself in a way that felt more aligned with who I truly was. When I got the call that I had been selected for the assistant position, my heart raced with a mix of nervousness and anticipation. The prospect of working closely with Mr. Jefferson, a middle-aged man with a reputation for being both demanding and fair, intrigued me. Little did I know that this new job would open the door to a world of growth and self-discovery. Moving into Mr. Jefferson's house was a transition like no other. The spacious residence felt like a maze at first, and I stumbled my way through learning the ins and outs of the household. Each day brought new tasks and responsibilities, from managing his schedule to organizing documents, and even assisting in planning events. The work was demanding, but I found myself thriving in this new environment. As the weeks turned into months, Mr. Jefferson and I developed a unique bond. He recognized my potential and encouraged me to take on more challenging tasks, pushing me beyond my comfort zone. He saw beyond my outward appearance and treated me with respect and kindness, something I hadn't experienced to this extent before. His mentorship opened my eyes to my own capabilities and strengths. Living away from my family allowed me to discover my own sense of style and self-expression. I found joy in picking out clothes that resonated with me, ones that reflected my personality rather than adhering to societal expectations. It was liberating to embrace who I truly was, without the weight of others' opinions. Through hard work and dedication, I became an integral part of Mr. Jefferson's team. His guidance shaped me into a confident and capable young adult. I learned to assert myself, make decisions, and navigate complex situations. The once shy boy who sought refuge in the background had transformed into a confident and empowered individual. As time went on, my role as Mr. Jefferson's assistant evolved beyond just managing his schedule and organizing his documents. He saw potential in me that extended beyond traditional job responsibilities. He recognized my attention to detail and my ability to multitask, which led to me taking on various duties that were often associated with women. And surprisingly, I found myself embracing these tasks with a newfound sense of purpose. I took charge of arranging social events, coordinating decor and catering, skills that I hadn't known I possessed. It was in this realm that my attention to detail truly shone, and Mr. Jefferson trusted me implicitly with these responsibilities. While the outside world might have raised eyebrows at a young man taking on roles that were typically attributed to women, I relished the opportunity to showcase my skills without being defined by traditional gender roles. Through this experience, I discovered that the boundaries that society places on us are often self-imposed. I wasn't just learning how to excel in my job, I was dismantling the stereotypes that had held me back for so long. And surprisingly, my mother and sisters, who had once been the source of my discomfort, began to recognize the transformation in me. They visited me occasionally, and their expressions showed a mixture of surprise and pride at the person I was becoming. My newfound sense of purpose and the support of Mr. Jefferson allowed me to let go of the need for external validation. I found strength in my individuality and didn't feel the pressure to conform to anyone else's expectations. My delicate demeanor and long blonde hair were no longer something to be hidden or changed, they were part of what made me unique and capable. Mr. Jefferson faced a dilemma that he hadn't anticipated. Despite being successful and respected, he found himself without a female date for an important dinner event. He confided in me about his predicament, and I hesitated for a moment before an idea struck me. Drawing from my own experiences of being dressed as a girl by my mother and sisters, I suggested that I could step in as his date for the evening. The surprise and gratitude in Mr. Jefferson's eyes were palpable as he agreed to my unconventional proposal. We embarked on a shopping spree to find the perfect attire for the evening. I embraced the opportunity to explore a different side of myself, allowing Mr. Jefferson to guide me in selecting a stunning short dress that flattered my figure, high heels that accentuated my height, and accessories that added an elegant touch. 
As my blonde hair cascaded down my shoulders, I realized how much I had grown since those days of feeling uncomfortable in feminine clothes. Now, I felt poised and confident, ready to take on the role of Mr. Jefferson's date, even if it meant temporarily adopting the name Amanda. The evening of the event arrived, and as I stood before the mirror, I marveled at the transformation. I felt beautiful and empowered in a way I had never experienced before. Mr. Jefferson was amazed by my appearance and couldn't help but smile at the remarkable change. As we walked into the event together, heads turned in our direction, and I felt a mixture of nerves and exhilaration. Throughout the evening, I navigated conversations, laughter, and social interactions with grace and poise. Mr. Jefferson and I made a convincing pair, with him by my side and me playing the role of his date, Amanda. As the night unfolded, I realized that my journey had led me to this unique moment, where I could showcase not only my capabilities but also my willingness to step outside societal norms. Over time, the idea of becoming Amanda for Mr. Jefferson's social events became more frequent. As my comfort in the role grew, I found myself embracing the transformation with enthusiasm. What had started as a one-time favor had evolved into something that held a deeper significance for both of us. Mr. Jefferson's reputation as an elegant and poised man meant that appearances mattered, and having Amanda by his side enhanced his image. We attended numerous events together, each time choosing outfits that would complement each other's looks. It was during these occasions that I began to appreciate the artistry of clothing, makeup, and styling. Being Amanda allowed me to explore a side of myself that I had never fully embraced before. But what surprised me even more was how much I genuinely enjoyed being Amanda. The way the fabrics draped, the feeling of heels on my feet, the delicate way I moved, it all felt so right. I started to realize that gender was just a social construct, and I was free to embody whatever aspects of femininity or masculinity I felt comfortable with. As I grew more confident in my role, I also developed a deeper appreciation for Mr. Jefferson's character. He was a true gentleman, always attentive and respectful. He treated me with the same kindness and consideration he showed to everyone else, regardless of my gender identity. Our shared experiences allowed us to form a unique bond that went beyond employer and employee. But amidst the glamour and sophistication of our appearances, there were moments of vulnerability. Mr. Jefferson confided in me about his own struggles and challenges, revealing a side of himself that he rarely showed to others. It was during these heart-to-heart -heart conversations that I realized our relationship had transcended its initial purpose. We had become confidants and allies, supporting each other in ways that extended far beyond dressing up and attending events. As time went on, Amanda became an integral part of my identity. I no longer viewed her as a separate persona but rather as an extension of who I was. I carried her confidence and elegance with me even when I wasn't in the role. And in the process, I had the opportunity to challenge societal norms, broaden my horizons, and truly be myself. Looking back, I couldn't help but feel grateful for the journey that had led me here. What started as a simple gesture to help Mr. Jefferson turned into a transformative experience that allowed me to embrace my authentic self and defy societal expectations. Our unconventional partnership had not only enriched our lives but also set an example for acceptance and authenticity. As I stood confidently in my identity, I knew that my story was one of courage, growth, and the power of embracing who you are.